Hi, this is Ms. Townsend. Welcome to Math with Townsend. We're looking at the Grade 9 Academic Analytic Geometry Summative. This is question 4. So question 4 says, two lines are perpendicular to each other and they also intersect at the point negative 8, 2. Write the equations of those two lines. Now at first glance, it looks like there's not enough information in this question. All I know is that the lines are perpendicular and they go through the point negative 8, 2. Um, so let's get a feel for what this question is doing by making a little graph. So again, the graph has to be properly labeled so that I can think about it properly. So I have a point here at negative 8, 2. And what I know is that two lines pass through this point and are also perpendicular. So let's just think about lines passing through this point. Well, there's one. That's a line that passes through this point. There's another one. Oh, found another one. There's a line. There's a line. Are you getting the idea? How many lines pass through this point? Well, there's an infinite number of them. Any line I draw, I could make it pass through that point. So that's the first thing you need to realize is that there are an infinite number of lines that pass through that point. So let's draw just one of them. Let's draw, oh, I don't know, this one. So there's a line that passes through that point. And this line has a perpendicular line, something like this. I'm just estimating a 90 degree angle. So that first line I drew passes through the point, And there's a perpendicular line that also passes through the point. So I could look at those two lines. But maybe I look at this line instead. That's a line that passes through the point. And again, if I eyeball it, there's a perpendicular line like that that also passes through the point. So if you get this idea, there's actually an infinite number of correct answers to this question. All you have to do is pick any line you want, make sure it passes through this point, and then find its perpendicular line. So let's do that algebraically. So again, the information we have is that we need to go through this point but other than that, I can pick any line I want. So I'm going to think for a minute and pick any slope I want. Let's go with a slope of 2. Why not? It's a nice number. So I have y equals 2x plus b. So slope is 2. And to find the y-intercept, all I need to do is substitute x and y from that point into the equation. So x was negative 8, y was 2, and I can solve for the y-intercept. So 2 equals negative 16 plus b, add 16, b equals 18, so I'm done. I have the equation of one line that passes through the point negative 8, 2. There it is. So now I need another line that also passes through the point negative 8, 2. Let me get rid of this stuff here from some other question. So I need another line that also passes through the point negative 8, 2. But this time I can't pick any slope I want. This time I have to pick a slope that's perpendicular to the slope that I already have. So the slope I have is 2. What's the perpendicular slope? Well, perpendicular slope would be negative 1 over 2. So I just did the negative reciprocal. So I'm going to take my new slope, which is negative 1 over 2, and I'm going to find the equation of a line that has that slope and that passes through the point x equals negative 8, y equals 2. And when I'm done this, I'll have my answer. So 2 negative 1 half times negative 8 is 4, subtract 4 from both sides, I have my value for b, so I have my second equation. So this equation passes through the point negative 8, 2, and is also perpendicular to this equation. So I could write a concluding statement, therefore the lines are perpendicular, etc. 
So that's that, that's the algebra. You would make it neater and write a conclusion, but I want to show you a different solution. So you know that there's an infinite number of solutions. I could have picked any number I want for that first slope, and I could have found a correct answer, but let me show you the easiest answer. And we'll go right back to this diagram here. Let's get rid of what I've drawn and look just at that point. If I want two lines that are perpendicular to each other that pass through that point, the easiest thing to do would have been to draw a perfectly vertical line, pretend, and a perfectly horizontal line. We know by definition that those are perpendicular. And they're also the easiest lines ever to find the equation of. A vertical line does not go through the y-axis, so the equation does not have y in it. x must equal negative 8. A horizontal line does not touch the x-axis, so it does not have x in the equation. So y must equal positive 2. There's two lines that pass through this point that are perpendicular to each other an awful lot faster and just as right. All done.